Hello. I feel like my backdrop is very drab and I'm very drab, but it's perfect because, I'm gonna put this a little lower. So this is a perfect backdrop because, and perfect look, because things are gonna get real. Things are gonna get real, real on here for a second because I am about to open you into my home. And I've done that before, but I've shown you it in some of its best states. And here, I am going to show you it in one of its absolute worst states. We are today, uh, we are just approaching Christmas. It is Christmas Eve Eve. And so it's a bit of a mess here, uh, both inside here and all around us. And so I'm hoping in the next hour or so to change that, to make our home cleaner and a little bit more organized to prepare for Christmas. As many of you know, my family and I just got home from an extended stay in Florida about almost two weeks now. So kids are sleeping and we need to get our act together because it's, it's gotten bad. <laughs> and Santa, I'm gonna get cold. I'm gonna get cold. <laughs> no, I'm not because it's, this is just life and there's nothing bad about it. I will say that yes, it does affect. I think it affects me greatly. I feel stressed, I feel anxious, I feel overwhelmed when my house is like this and the areas I'm gonna clean, we haven't cleaned in a while. The big one is the pantry. And so in that the pantry has not been organized, I honestly think it was organized just before the pandemic and it has not been organized since. And not only has it not been organized in a long time, which I do try to go through it more often than I have, but in that we are living in pandemic, we're buying in a lot of ways more than we usually do because we constantly are having that fear of like, will it run out? Because Joe and Dennis have specific diets and especially Dennis has an allergy, we do get really nervous and it has happened where things were not available that we really kind of needed. And so I need to go through that pantry because it is exploding into our kitchen and as well as other things like our um, winter jackets closet has become a mess now. We've been going out in the snow a lot the last couple of days and just been throwing our clothes on the floor or our winter stuff. And it's always like chaotic of like, where are your gloves? Where are my gloves? Ah! Oh my gosh, dressing two kids for all of you that have more than that, I don't even know. It takes longer to get dressed up to go outside than we actually probably even spend out there. But Dennis even is like, oh, you might see, uh, hopefully I can show him, you him later. He has a little um, black eye because I put him in a snowsuit and you know kids in snowsuits like our babies in snowsuits. They're like marshmallows. So like I stood him up and he just immediately was like, ah! And he like face planted, it's so sad. Anyway. As you can see, my mind is all over the place, but I want to let you know, I am making this as real as possible. It is, it's, this is probably the message has been in a really long time. And I was like, oh, I could tidy up a little bit. Cause we obviously had lunch and I could, you know, do all of that. But I'm like, no, I'm leaving everything as is. So you can see exactly how it is in this moment. And you can understand that all of us have messy homes and it's just a part of life and that's okay. And we just need to pick ourselves up by our bootstraps and do what we can to make our home as safe and happy and welcoming as possible. So that's what my plan is. Come along with me guys. All right, I warn you. Again, it's not the worst, but it is bad. It's pretty bad. It's not the worst. I don't want to like make anyone feel bad for if their house is messier. Ours has probably been messier than this. I don't really know, but it's feeling very overwhelming and messy to me right now. So do not come. Real quick, my um, camera battery died, but just want to make this really clear. If your house is messier than this and in seeing Seeing this, you're like, oh wow, like, what am I doing? Don't, please, stop, 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 stop. <sighs> Don't 
stress about it. Don't compare yourself. And also, if you think this is really messy and your house is much cleaner than this and you never let it get to this point, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> no more comparing. It is what it is. We're all just trying to survive. Stop making people feel bad if they're not to your level and start making yourself feel bad if you're not to other people's levels. We're all humans and we're just trying to live life as best we can. Okay, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> So I think it's pantry. What I'm gonna do is just clear this off and use this and maybe the kitchen table as my areas for organizing the food. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Gotta take a picture. Picture for proof. Now we can start. getting any idea this is only a small amount that I've taken out so far I'm gonna turn this off for a little bit and update you as you continue to see everything come out of that pantry Whew. quick break my friend is dropping off a Christmas gift for us I have a Christmas gift for her no she does not have a baby boy this is just another example of where I'm at right now in the holiday season and my level of uh, Christmas that I'm at right now, so no card, just a little bit of tissue all crumpled in there. I, I don't even know what to say. Why it's cold out there? Okay, I'm back. Let's keep going.
we're not big on doing a lot of the bulk of let's say like flour or cereals putting them in these kind of things but we do have a lot of pasta so we did get these for that reason we were just kind of talking about it and that we're not sure if it really does save room they're also not super practical in that the pasta is usually too big to to put through here so we just end up taking this off anyway but i don't even know if these are like perfectly airtight which is why we're okay that it's the pasta because you know it's good enough but we're gonna refill these up and get rid of some of the boxes. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, ma'am. All right, here we have it. Just a little bit of the pasta still there. The cereal will always stay up there. I do just have to go through it, make sure we're eating all those. But everything else has been cleared off. It's been swept up. One thing I will just point out, this is an OXO um, Lazy Susan of sorts. Really like it. Probably use it for the same function, which was for a lot of the um, um, condiments. And then here's another thing that we've kind of makeshifted here. It's not uh, Martha Stewart probably looking, but it works really well for us. I'm going to double check on Joe when the exact material is, but it's kind of like styrofoam and it's just a perfect little kind of like makeshift step up for us and it works really nice especially because we do have the wire shelving uh, so it's nice to have something that's flat and then again something that can better present things so you can see them better and again very cheap and affordable way to go about it doing it and it works for us we have it on two different shelves actually three Okay, so I've been already putting a lot back in, but I just want to kind of show you a little bit of my system and that I'm trying to organize things into little areas. That one is not organized, that's all a mishmash. But over here, kind of seeing all the, is anyone else Italian and use, use a lot of this for their sauce? May only be a New England thing, because I think when my brother's out in California, they can never get it, but we have lots and lots of this but also on different other kinds. Just trying to organize those. Still got a little bit of organizing to do here. We got all kind of the rices, the beans, the oatmeals, condiments, canned fruit. Kind of just went through, got rid of some boxes and reorganized this. This was something Joe had done a little while back when we had last organized. It's really nice. This has been really nice for me to see because this has kind of been buried in there. And I have all these great snacks I haven't been having. The only thing I will say is a lot of them are from my nursing days. So they're kind of like high in protein, things like that. I don't know if I quite need that much, but still a good snack, better than what I've been snacking on recently. And then this usually had like a Lee snack on there, but it fell off, so we'll have to make a new one for that. Here are some of the empty boxes that we've kind of weaned down by putting into different containers. And here I am making a collection of what is kind of <laughs> a overflow of the overflow, which just shows us that we had too much of this and we were not keeping good track of it. So I'm gonna do a system where I bring this downstairs and I'm going to make a list. But some of this was more we couldn't find this at all during the pandemic. So we, we had a panic. <laughs> so we had a panic. And when I saw it in stock one day, I just bought a ton. Exactly. That's what, that's what this is. This is panic, anxiety over the pandemic kind of situation. But I want to come up with like a list so I know it's downstairs. And also really look closely at that list to be like, okay, we need to start making meals that go through this stuff. Because we need to go through it. And then I'm also doing a little uh, pile here for uh, food pantry food that I just know we will not eat um, or we kind of don't really need and could go to someone else that might need it more. Just a little update what's going on in here. Again, mostly empty. Dennis is waking up, so I'm going to have to get him and hopefully find something to entertain him. But we kind of just worked on the pasta for now, but I've got the pasta pretty much organized. That's another thing that we have quite a bit of 
but we like it and we do go through it quite a bit. What I did do, which was a little different than before, is I put one overflow box underneath each container and then if we have any more overflow than that, it is going downstairs. And again, we need to keep better track of it and make sure we're going through it. Don't touch, don't touch. <laughs> what? Yeah. You guys have a camera. Don't touch. No, 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 thank you. <laughs> no. I know, I love that smile. Dennis, mama says, Dennis. Okay, so this might not work, but I've been working on the uh, shoe winter coats closet. Um, and as you can see, I have my accomplice here. Can you give a kiss? Oh! I think you have a crush. Somebody is feeling themselves. Good for you. You are wonderful. And you should love yourself. I got it. Okay, see you later. So, one thing I realized that was kind of crazy about us coming home, only two weeks before Christmas, one thing, that just is a stress. Oh my gosh, my hair. My I give up. It's fine. Um, the other thing is that we came home to a whole nother season then we left. So I think that's where this kind of, kind of became a mess. We had it set up for kind of the, like with how things were placed, like the flip flops and the lighter shoes and sneakers kind of down below and the boots kind of all over the place. So now it's kind of set up better where all the flip flops are kind of hidden at this top which probably won't be touched. Um, and then kind of the other shoes are elsewhere. I just realized we have a whole shelf for Joe's work shoes that he has not touched in nine months. I wonder if we should put those up in his closet because I don't know. It's not looking like he's gonna be using it for the next month or so at least, so we'll see. Uh, and then of course, Lee's kind of growing out of shoes as well, so there's part of that. Um, but now what I'm trying to do is organize the gloves and the hats. Again, we had a lot of the um, baseball hats out, and now we need more of the winter hats, ski hats, things like that out. What do you see? Who is it? Is that Lightning McQueen? One other thing I will mention that was tough to come home to is um, Lee's winter clothes, he's fully outgrown up of, and we didn't realize it until we put him back into them. Um, he is fully out of 3T, like they are three quarter sleeve shirts and flood pants and it, it, it doesn't look good. Uh, so we need to kind of do a whole shop for him, uh, which we are not used to doing because we got 3T when he really should have been in two T's, so we like stretched it two years worth. So it's like, oh wow, like we've been we've been <laughs> we've been trying to make this uh, last as long as possible, and we finally hit a point. Oh, look at that little eye! Oh, my God, I'm sorry. Oh, am I embarrassing you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just looking at your face. It was right here that it happened too. We were getting ready to go outside, weren't we? And then boom, boom, face plant. Boom face plant. So anyway, a lot going on, a lot of changes all at once that we're getting through. Um, and of course, big change coming soon. Santa dropping off a lot of gifts that we gotta find places for too. So that's where we're at. Where are you at? That is not a hypothetical question. Seriously, answer below. Where are you at, and how are you feeling since the holidays have gone by? Okay, so here's how it goes. We've got adult gloves in this one. We've got the more soft gloves on this side and then the heavy duty gloves on that side. Here we have a bin for kids hats and kids gloves of all sorts. They all have a match, they're all clipped together. 
We did find a couple in here. I'll kind of keep searching, but I do see a couple of non-matches. <laughs> this looks like a pretty nice one. Hopefully we can find the match to that one. And then over here, we have adult hats. We've got kind of the knit and the soft ones on top. Some kind of silly novelty ones, like a Cookie Monster hat and like a white fur, well, fake fur, hat. And then also like the earmuff kind of ones on this side. And then I took out all the baseball caps because we have so many. And there is some of the shoes that we're probably gonna let go. Um, and we're gonna either, uh, Joe had made the point that we usually hang these up on knobs and if there are not enough spots, then we really should consider are they hats that we wear and want to continue to wear, so. Some of these are outgrown by both boys, so we'll see what we do with those, but getting there. Okay, well, that is all I could get done for today. It was definitely one of those days where you felt accomplished, but at the same time you didn't, because you accomplished kind of the hidden closets, and so there's still a little work to be done on the outside surface, but it feels really good to have gotten those things done, because it will impact the outside and just our well-being. So, let's get a look at the pantry now. So unfortunately it's kind of late now, so it's a little dark. We do have a little snap light, but as you can see, the battery did run out. So, we still have the cereal up here. I'm not sure if that might have been one thing we kind of rushed. We might not have fully went through that. Then we have our pasta here. All of our condiments on here. One thing Joe and I were talking about is, I'm not sure, this may seem like an excessive amount of food for a family of four, but we are a family of four with every single person having a different kind of diet. Um, some allergy, some health, some a toddler. <laughs> so that does sometimes mean there's quite a variety of foods in here. Here we have soups and we have oatmeals. Then down here we've got some snack food, not too much, but mostly quinoa and rice. Then we got some of our canned goods, beans. And then finally some stock broth, a couple other snacks, and then mostly canned tomatoes, sauce, and drinks. That was pretty good. One point I do want to make is that it's not, Dennis got in here. <laughs> it's not, um, again, I know I always say this, but I think it's because something I, it's, I need to remind myself is that it's not a, you know, magazine looking pantry, but it really works for us and that's okay. You know, I don't, I really don't feel like we need to invest on any other fancier things, you know. Just using these foam pieces and just organizing, having a lazy Susan, things like that. Just little baskets from Target. All of that works for our family. So that's that. So all this is now clean. We've just got our most used coats on here. We got one for Dennis, we got one for Lee, we got one for Mama, we got a Nicer one for Joe, for if he does have to hop in the office, and then his kind of wintry one. And then now here is the closet. So, one sad thing is that these baskets, they're only two fit on one, not three. I would have loved for all three to fit. So I actually put the boys' basket just here on the floor, so they have easy access to it. Leah has autonomy to say, you know, these are, I can pick out my hats and gloves. Um, because I just, it is very cumbersome to go way up there 
often, so I'd prefer not to have anything way up there that we don't need to constantly be putting up and down. So that just has clear bags, extra blankets, I think a stroller uh, stuff, some ear earmuffs, things like that. Blankets, this has all of our hats, this has all of our gloves, and ours, I mean the adults, the mom and dad. And then some other just little coats. And then we've hung up some bags. And then we have sneakers uh, on the top one that you can't really see is like flip flops, things like that. And we have sneakers, uh, mostly Joe's and Lee's. Then we have Joe's work shoes, and we have my sneakers. And then I would love for this to fit a little bit better, but Joe's snow boots, my kind of nicer boots, and then my snow boots. And there we have it. So, out of all transparency, as you can see, it does not look perfect. There are a few snacks that we could not really find space for that we're still trying to, to figure out. We do also have this snack area, so again, just more food, gluten-free toddler food, gluten-free other snacks, baby food, lots of food. We feel very lucky and fortunate that we're able to fill our house with that much food. Come say goodnight. Good night. Good night, Dad. Come say goodnight. Good night. Good night. Thanks for joining us. We'll have more things like this to come because again i think we don't get spring fever we get post christmas i'm oh not fever spring cleaning fever we get post christmas yes. cleaning Aww. fever so probably more to see and also maybe more Aww. meals to cook because Aww. having to see all our stuff much better we have so many ideas of what we want to cook so that's the plan hi <laughs> good night bye, bye all right we gotta put the kids to bed <laughs> I silly boy. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. My new favorite thing. See your little clubhouse. Okay. I'll see you later.